Julian Perez here, and we're gonna hit a leg session for you today. I'm thinking a higher volume leg day, um, so it's gonna be cool. Lots of sets, lots of intensifiers, probably. And I'm hitting with my buddy Andrew, also the guy with the fastest car I know, so <laughs> it's pretty cool. But first thing we're gonna do is just warm up, get some blood flowing into our muscle, into the quads and hams. Uh, we're gonna start off with extensions, probably do some lunges and some light leg curls. And these aren't working sets, they're just warm up sets. And then from there, we'll go on to our first exercise and slowly work towards our first working set. But without further ado, let's get started. Just finished warming up. We did, uh, I don't know how many sets of leg extensions, but we spent about 20 minutes, right? Yeah, taking um, our time, sweating it out. Yeah, just, just getting some blood flow under the quads and hands. Um, just warming up everything, get it nice and loose for, for our first exercise, which is going to be leg curls. Obviously, we target now to on this one. Um, the game plan for this is to work up to a nice set of 8 um, to 10. We'll probably do, that'll be our top set. Um, we'll do one top set of 8 to 10, and then we'll probably do another back off set, and that. 10 to 12 up range, um, lower the weight, increase the volume a little bit, and then we'll probably do a third set where it's um, something crazy like a drop set, um, static hold, force, uh, force negative or something, I don't know, but um, that's a game plan right now. Um, one heavy set, one, a second really heavy set, but higher volume, and then the third set is going to be some type of intensive fire. So that's how we're strong hands today. Um, let's get started. So we did about like six sets, and now my body's feeling really good. Um, I established a strong mind to muscle connection for this exercise, and I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna hit my top set right now. Like I said, um, I'm gonna try to fill in that eight rep range, maybe give or take two reps, we'll see. But this is my top set. This is the one we're working up to. This one that's gonna count and add some mass to my, my CUNY hamstring. So here we go. <clears throat> When people do these, something you'll see often done is when people are curling at the top, they usually, the hips come up, right? And the reason that's bad is because you're taking tension away from the hamstring and you're using secondary muscles to get it up. Now, if the wheels have hypertrophy, <laughs> you're not really doing the job. 
So, something I like to do to make sure that doesn't happen is squeeze my glutes at the bottom here, push my hips into the pad, and stay there the entire time. And then from here, I just simply curl. Curl, 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 until I stop feeling tension. You don't need to go all the way up if you don't feel any tension. For me, my active range of motion is right here. Something my coach has been doing, and it changed my hamstrings dramatically over the course of the year. So, once again, and I'm going to squeeze my glutes, keep, push my hips down to the pad, and then I'm just going to curl while keeping everything locked in. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And once I feel peak contraction, hold there for a second or two, and I slowly lower the weight down. And once I start to feel tension drop off, that's where um, the movement ends and I, I restart again. So, boom, all the way down, boom. Just right there. And the key thing is, he said, um, for him, it's his range of motion, right? That's where he feels the tension. It can be different for anyone, and it doesn't mean you're doing it right or wrong just because you don't look like that, or you don't look like that doing it. <laughs> so it's different for everyone, don't worry about exactly. that. Exactly, so like my range of motion is, this is where I start the movement, that's where I feel constant tension, or that's where I feel tension, and this is where I'm gonna end, because that's where I feel tension. And for you, it may be even lower. You know, maybe, maybe you feel tension right here. Right? I mean, you probably don't because <laughs> that's a lot of movement. But maybe you feel it there and you feel it all the way here. Maybe it's even shorter. Maybe it's right here. Maybe that's your active range of motion. You know? It varies from person to person. And it's something you're just going to have to play with. So, um, as long as you're keeping constant tension in the hamstrings, that's the main goal. But that's something I've been incorporating on the past year. My coach has been doing. And it's just, like I said, it's changed your hamstrings dramatically. So, form tip, give it a shot. Watch it blow up your hamstrings. I'm about to do my, my last set here. And we're gonna throw in a fun little intensifier here, here. The game plan is to do a triple drop set with a static pull and some force mechanisms. In the last set. And the idea here is just to flood a ton of blood into the hamstrings and really them up. So that's a plan. Um, hopefully Andrew's gonna Andrew's gonna freaking torch me right now. So let's go. <clears throat> Uh, 
there was a triple drop set, a quadruple drop set, and that destroyed my hands range. So I stuck within the 10 to 15 rep range, and I took that to complete failure, meaning, as you can see by my last rep, I was not able to move this thing an inch. All right, so my hands are super pumped right now, and I'm a little afraid to stand up because <laughs> I don't want to fall. But, you know, that's that's our first exercise. <laughs> uh, we're not even halfway through the workout yet, so it's gonna be fun. But uh, yeah, that was our first one. We're probably gonna do some leg press now, and then do uh, do some heavy sets there, and then move on. It's funny we're we're shooting the shit during sets right now. And Andre brought up a really good point about starting exercise where your legs extension off with hamstrings first. When you do that, at least through trial error, we've noticed that when you go on to like some type of pressing movement like that leg press or squat your contractions just so much more intense right like yeah and it's if you've never felt it before on the leg press like doing the hamstrings definitely push as much blood as you can doing at least one exercise before and when you get into this when you think about it hard enough and really like maybe cut down even on your range of motion and just really focus on squeezing as hard as you can like through your heels you'll really feel it like the whole way all hamstrings and nothing else so yeah just pre-exhausting the muscle really helps if you're trying to bring up a lagging body part. If you usually don't feel it with doing a certain exercise, try you know pushing blood in first. Ugh. 
Smashed that first set. Well, actually, first set shows on leg rolls. Smoked them. And my top set here just finished them off. And, and trying to do a drop set here was <laughs> almost impossible. Only that was kind of sad, but hands are getting worked on. So that's solid. But I don't know what I'm saying. I'm trying to think thing right now. Ha! Huh. Things are getting pretty nasty, but as you can tell, that first exercise is pretty brutal. I'm doing 12 or 13 plates here, and the leg press was, was just insane. And now my legs are definitely feeling it. Super pumped. Uh, but we're not done yet, we're about halfway done. Probably gonna do another compound, like maybe some lunges or a squat. And then we'll end with some type of circuit, probably. But halfway there, Andrew's throwing up right now, so that's fine. <laughs> Pretty, pretty good, but that's just like it. <laughs> that's like it, bro. Right? I, I told him before the session that this session isn't over until we're walking like baby deer. Yeah, and I definitely achieved that a lot. That was definitely, <laughs> that, happened, that happened like halfway into the session, so goal accomplished. Now we're going to finish off um, today's session with uh, the doctor machine. Um, what is it called? Good girls, it's a slang term, good girls. So um, nothing crazy here, just going to get a good stretch and a hard contraction. And we're probably gonna do two, three sets here, um, higher volume. Really just trying to destroy our adductors and finish off what's left for them. So that's the plan here. Um, like I said, 15, 20 reps, higher volume. And then that's it. But we're gonna try to beat these abductors up. And a little pro tip when doing these you don't make eye contact with anyone, or else it's really freaking weird because. <laughs> and you well, also uh, don't have to get too heavy on these, especially if you haven't done these in a long time. Like, even for him or for me, if we don't touch these for a while, you do like lighter sets of 15 to 20 reps, you'll be feeling it the next day. Absolutely. Easily. Right. So, just controlled contraction, really squeeze. Um, yeah. Yeah, this isn't anything I'm trying to set any PRs on. I'm really just trying to, like, like I said, beat the piss out of them. So, that's the objective here. And we're going to do that. But keep watching and then uh, we'll wrap things up.
So that was my last set. That was a triple drop on the ductor machine um, with some partials at the end and, and a static cold. Just holding as long as I can. Really take it to failure. Failure is when you cannot get even half a rep out of the movement, right? So if someone put a gun to my head, I would not physically be able to get another rep. So that's failure. Um, that is, concludes my leg session for today. Everyone's always asking me, what do you do for legs? You know, genetically they're a stronger component for my physique, but that's what I do. I really just think, hey, what's the best, or ask myself, what's the best way to like fuck up my legs, right? And you know, what's the worst, what can I do to make this even more painful? And what can I do to make this session even more difficult? And I set a goal and I try to attack, attack it. But thank, thank you to Andrew for joining me today. Yeah, that was a good uh, uh, intensity, a good <laughs> refresh on what a leg day's supposed to be. Yeah, you know, we definitely brought the intensity back here today, so it was cool. I feel like I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm getting interviewed at like a football game, like, yeah, we brought the intensity back here today, you know? <laughs> we set the game plan and executed and worked out. But that's pretty much what we did, you know? So, um, shout out to George, the cameraman, now behind the magic. Um, that's legs, you know, give it a shot, let me know how it goes. Also, we're having a debate earlier between five guys and in and out, and which one's better, so. I, I unfortunately for them said in and out. In and out, George says five guys. I'm a fat ass and I really can't choose, so <laughs> one day I'm in and out, one day I'm seeing five guys. So in the comment section below, list which one's your, your go-to and which one you like and why. But that's it. We'll see you for the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear.